What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel Everyday Cody for Everyday Guys. So today we're going to be talking about the Southwest Holster Sidewinder Holster System or Ecosystem. It is really more than just a, a standard holster. It comes with a lot of stuff, especially for the money. We're going to talk about what you get, who would use such a thing, and just some of the things I've learned um, since I've started training and using the Sidewinder. Now, before we get into the cool stuff, I just want to explain to you why I own such a piece of gear. And this isn't just it, it's also on my battle belt banner, but I'll show you that, show you that in a second. Um, I wasn't overly fussed about, about uh, overt slash tactical gear until Durban 21 happened. And the reason that was that affected me so much was because I knew people in Durban and I'd been speaking to people on a daily basis about the, the things that were going on in Durban. And they said to me, look, get kitted out now, rather, because if this kind of thing ever does happen to you where you are trying to get, trying to get kitted out, then it's too late. And since then, I've really dedicated myself to getting overt gear, plate carriers and that sort of thing. Okay, so that's my why, right? But you're going to have your own why and I'll... I'll explain to you throughout this video why you might be someone who wants to invest in this kind of thing now firstly what does the southwest holster sidewinder holster system entail okay first of all you're going to get a holster now this is a holster for the surefire x300 and it does make sense if you're going to go for this type of holster to go for a, a weapon light option because you are carrying it outside your waistband you're carrying it on a on a rig so it's not really that difficult to to carry right but this is not your edc setup obviously okay so you're going to get the holster with a hood system a hood retention system and i'll talk to you about why this is here a little bit later on um it has obviously a mechanism by which the hood is disengaged you are going to get a quick detach uh mount or bracket right so this is quick detach bracket a okay then on your belt and i i thought i was going to take this off my belt and then i realized nah it's not happening i'm not taking this off my belt you get the second part of that quick detach system as well as a drop leg mount and a really nice really nice thigh strap which is very grippy rubberized texture on it now for all of this right it costs 4,000 Rand or like 200 and like $30, $234 or something like that. Guys, that is a little money for a lot of gear. If you go for a similar safari land setup here in South Africa, it's going to cost you like 7,000 Rand, 7,000, 8,000 Rand. In fact, I've seen some places where just the ALS holster from safari land costs 7,000 Rand. So in terms of value for money, for what you're getting for this setup, you really can't beat it. If I'm if I'm honest, there's there's not much that can uh, compete with it. Now everyone's positioning of their holster is going to be different. You'll see mine is slightly towards the front, almost at like the two thirty two o'clock position. I find this to be the most comfortable way for me to run the holster for a couple of reasons. One, it's very easy to get into and out of cars because I'm not super wide, as you can see. This does stand quite a bit away from your hip, okay? It's, 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 it's quite a distance, okay? And that's there for a reason. I'll explain it to you further on in the video. Um, I like it bringing it around, bring it around towards the, the, the front a bit because going through doors, going into and out of vehicles, I find it less snaggy. Now, that does come with a few pros, i.e. you are a smaller profile, which means you can fit through things better. But the disadvantage is going prone is going to be very difficult. You know, maybe climbing over a wall could be a bit more cumbersome than for someone carrying it at three o'clock. You've got to find what flavor works for you and where you are most efficient. This is going to be something that's going to be different for everyone. Everyone's going to have their perfect position, just like some people prefer to carry appendix, some people prefer, prefer to carry strong side. No one is going to be the exact same um, as everyone else's. Now, the way the holster works, guys, the firearm is empty and safe, so don't stress about that. You've got pretty much a Southwest Holsters Mamba holster. This, by the way, is a Safari Land drop leg mount. This cost me 750 Rand just for this piece of, of black plastic, right? So it's basically a, a Southwest Holsters Mamba, 
right, with a hood system, like so. Okay, you can't buy this mechanism separately, so you know, don't try. Um, all the the added mechanisms like the quick release, the um, hood release system, those are all, as well as the drop leg and the quick um, release mount on the other end, are all from Blade Tech, right? And like I said, you buy this entire unit as one unit. Okay, so you've obviously got this hood on here that prevents your firearm from coming out. Now, guys, that isn't only to prevent someone from stealing it, right? Yes, it is there for that, but think about it if you are in law enforcement or uh, security or everything be, you might be running climbing jumping falling over a wall getting assaulted or everything be. you don't want your firearm going flying that is one of the primary reasons for this this hood system here now obviously it's very important that you're able to get your firearm out of the holster and that is where this little um, lever comes in okay now it's not a press down it's a press to the rear right have a look Okay, so what I recommend and what I've done, and I've gotten pretty fast, is coming down with my thumb, man, this is going to be really difficult to show, coming down, so when I go for my holster, my thumb immediately goes onto that hood system, onto the, the, the release system, then I drive down and pull out, and you're able to get a really good, really acceptable, high tang grip coming out of the holster, that's very important. You don't want your retention system to affect your grip because your grip has to be consistent. The same grip that you draw and intend to shoot with, that's got to be the grip that you achieve on your holster from the get-go. So don't, if you do get one of these, don't try to do that. It's You can do it, but it's, it, it, it creates an inefficient and low tang grip, right? Go above it and then bring down. Then when the fire arm comes out, Look at that, you got that high tank grip and you're good to go. And as I said, with practice you can get pretty quick, but you do have to practice. Because when I got this, man, I can't, like a ton of times I ended up just yanking that thing upwards um, and not disengaging the quick release. It is some, or, or the, the hood, it is something you really have to practice. Guys, so this is really difficult for me to show, but basically you've got the one side and... It basically slides in and locks, right? And then on the other side, this would be so much better if it wasn't on a heavy belt. There's like a little door that you can see right there. I think that's it, right? That door closes and then the holster is locked in place. Now you can see it's also on a drop leg mount. Now the reason that's important is because if you're wearing a plate carrier or something like, yeah, well you more than likely be wearing a plate carrier if you are wearing a battle belt like this. Um, you want your, your firearm just a bit lower because if it's on your hip where a standard three o'clock outside the Western holster would be, you tend to draw it up into the, the, the plate carrier and it becomes really difficult. So. You want to ensure that this is on some kind of drop leg mount in order for it to clear your plate carrier when you draw. I do just want to remind you that Southwest Holsters also has a 15% discount running on the online store. Uh, I believe it's www.southwestholsters.com. Um, use promo code new shop. They've recently moved to a new shop so you can get some discounts on the Holsters. Those of you who follow me do know I pretty much read Southwest Holsters as amongst if not the best Holster manufacturer in the country right now. Guys, the Southwest Holster Sidewinder, I think for the money and the fact that it's locally produced um, and, I've, and I don't know of any other company in South Africa producing this, I think it's pretty much the go-to for, for, for overt carry setups and everybody's reason is going to be different whether you are a prepared civilian or you are someone uh, who works in the industry where you want to carry something like this. You do want something that is reliable, made by a good company and um, is going to ensure that uh, your weapon is a retainable and be accessible at the same time. Guys, I do just want to say, I have had thousands of practice draw strokes and this Blade Tech quick release system is still as springy as it was the day I got it. So that's obviously very important, especially if you're going to um, wear this professionally. You want to ensure you have a reliable system and Blade Tech are a reliable company. Um, that's it guys.
thank you for taking time to check out this video. If you do like these kind of videos, I make a gear related review every single week. The Southwest Halter Sidewinder, it is a full setup. It's literally a put on your belt and go. For the money, I don't think you're going to be able to get anything even close to it in South Africa. Maybe over in the US, I don't know. But for 230 odd dollars, it's quite a good setup, 4,000 Rand. That's it, guys. Have a good week. I'll see you in the week for a vlog. Be safe, train hard. Cheers. God bless.